Then on to Krista Chris's theory. Yes, today I'm going to talk about being a good listener. There have been people who are just not listening. They come into your life, pretend to listen, yet go out there and they are stuck because they didn't listen. I have had a gentleman approaching me saying that my channel is just for the youth. Yes, to you it might be for the youth. But I have been through places and have come to realize that even the green-headed people with full bodies, as, as matured people, are still babies in suits walking out there who did not listen and it has come back biting them hard in their faces it's just so simple listen listen it will help you during noah's days god instructed noah to build an ark and he told him categorically what was going to happen in that time. Noah carried the message out. People saw him building the ark. And they mocked him. That is the listener's life. The listener listens and builds towards it. Those who mocked him didn't listen. When the ark was ready, we saw two pairs of each of everything created by God going into it. That is your life. When your ark was ready, when you, you listened and prepared, you were able to put things in places. Those who did not listen, this is what happened to them. It rained, there was flood, they had nowhere to go to. They went back knocking on that ark for Noah to open them so they will come in and have a shed over their head. What is the shed here? Your life. How have you built it? You did not listen. Yours was to dress fashionably. I'm not saying dressing fashionably is wrong. No. Keep your fashion sense. But then, put your gumption, your senses on. The census will tell you that if I get five Peswa, I need to save two Peswa from it. Not to use all that money to buy clothes. Not to use all that money to buy weave on. Not to use all that money to buy makeup. Let's say in Noah's days, he saved, that was the ark. You, what is your ark today? That it is raining and you are being beaten by the rain. That is hardship. Because you did not put things in place. Because you lived in self-denial. Realities knocked on your door. But hey, you intended to wink at them. Today, they are facing you. All because you refused to listen. For how long should we sound a trumpet in your ears that renew your mind, learn to save? Money is not always going to come into your palms. For how long should we tell you that there is going to come a time where you will be in, in die, dying need of help, but you can't get it because you led reckless life? Every discotheque, you are there. Everywhere there is food, you are there. Everywhere there is happiness, there is merriment, you are there. You did not know that there are times and seasons. For how long should we continue to tell you that you are going to age? You cannot eat with your hand at a point you will need assistance and so leave your life well prepare so that when that time comes you'll be able to 
give yourself an aid before that help automatically comes. For how long should we continue singing in your ears that, hey, there is something coming, that thing is called aging, and it is going to haunt you if you not put things in place? I'm coming from a uniform background. I have seen a lot. I've seen people who wore the uniform and were, and were happy. Yes, I'm in the uniform without putting things in places for their future. Yes, the uniform might be your protection. You would have everything on a silver platter. But then, after the uniform, after you've taken that uniform off, what happens to you? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what kind of uniform you are in currently. But then, when you take that uniform out of you, what happens to your life? Just be a good listener. Sometimes, it doesn't take the elderly to talk, um, to talk to you. It takes the people you do not respect. The people you do not listen to. The people you look down on. It takes them. It takes your children. It takes your wife. It takes your colleagues at work. Your pastors, your leaders to speak into your life. Just be a good listener. And don't waste your energy on frivolous things that will not yield good fruit for you. And then in future, you beg for arms. They are happening. Some people have also pretended to be, I've got children and so I'm going to live my life on that of my children. This one is too small. That is why you talk this way. Why is it too small? What happens to your children when they are growing? Do you know how long they are going to live? Do you know their lifespan? In this life we all do not know and so live your life like there is no one around you put things in place like there is no one there for you so that when that dim time comes there will be an aid for you it hurts to see grown-ups sleeping without eating it hurts to see the aged walking without an aid it hurts to see people begging the aged begging for help it hurts so put things in place in your home i will talk about marriage in my next episode and I'll talk about life in general in my next episode. If you think you are, you, are, you are fresh today, you've got everything it takes. And so nothing is going to pull you down. It is a lie. As the years goes by, as the, day go, the days goes by, as we grow each and every day, things are changing in our lives. So no matter your high horse, calm down. To realities and get to know some of us are privileged enough to see or to work with the aged and we know the challenges they are going through there is going to come a time your voice is going to be taken away from you aphasia has set in you cannot talk if you want to communicate it might even be difficult you may have to write on a paper for people to read to understand what you are talking about. And so I urge you, put things in place because we all do not know tomorrow. Learn to be a good listener. Put, put away pride. When someone comes to you to talk to you, thank that person because that person might have seen what is going to happen tomorrow to you today. And you are being precautioned about it. Don't say that. That person is not my class. 
I don't respect you. You do not know how God communicates. Be a good listener. Not for yourself, but for your future as a whole. You are not being a good listener for your children, for your family. It is for you. If you are able to sit down and put food into your mouth by yourself, that means everything on you should be responsible. You should be responsible for it. Be a good listener. It will help you and your generation at large. Thank you, people, for allowing us once again into your homes. Remain resolute. From us on Crystal Creations TV. Let us bye-bye. Bye-bye.